Hey guys, welcome to Intellect Digest. I'm your host Rohit Khurana. Let's get started with this episode. In this video, I'll share top 15 features of the MIUI 8. Number one and on top of our list is dual apps. How many times have you struggled to have multiple WhatsApp accounts or multiple Facebook accounts and you can't do it on single Android phone? Well, there are workarounds, but what if MIUI offers you an inbuilt way to do that? Now with dual apps feature on MIUI 8, you can create two instances of any app, be it WhatsApp, Facebook, or your uh, Tinder profile, you can have two profiles running on the same phone at the same time, which is just brilliant. Second feature is also equally interesting. It is called second space. What if you had a secret phone inside your standard phone? Doesn't it sound like out of a James Bond movie? But it's very much true. With MIUI 8, you can have a second space, which is like a separate phone. It has apps of its own and it is as easy to access as unlocking with a different password and you are taken into a new space where you have different applications, different files, different galleries and everything is entirely different from the first space. That is a secret or your own private phone which you do not have to share with others. Third best feature is the dialer and caller ID features. Now you can search in the dialer even for the Hindi names it works using transliteration. For example if you search for name Amit and if it is saved in Hindi, it will still show up when you search it with T9 keyboard in English. That's a nifty feature. Also, it uses MIUI caller ID, which is a new feature that has been added to MIUI 8, in which it will source numbers from public database. And unlike TrueCaller, it will not upload your phone book to the cloud, so your numbers are private and your privacy is taken care of. It also sources directory numbers of over 1000 businesses so you can search for businesses say you want to order a domino's pizza and you do not have domino's number you can just search in the directory you don't need to go online you will be easily able to find such numbers in the phone book itself fourth is the sms identification the sms identification works for the bank messages public messages carrier messages etc where you see funny codes it will now show those codes as icons as well as logos it will also show you the name of the sender so if you are getting a text from the bank you can easily identify that it is a bank sms and it is from a particular bank you also get additional features like you can save calendar entries when you book a movie ticket you can recharge your mobile phone when you get a low balance alert and you get recharge now button there it does that using MobiQuick app and also gives you discounts on your recharges with miui 8 Fifth feature is that now you can download latest songs ringtones from Hangama. It has been made available in the MIUI 8. Next feature which I find personally very interesting is the Quick Ball. Quick Ball is a gesture based touch shortcut feature which quickly lets you apply actions like a back button, home button etc. The fun thing is that it is totally customizable and it works with one click or one touch. It does not require multiple clicks like you would find on an Apple phone. You can quickly go back by just swiping to the bottom. When you go diagonally, you can take screenshots and so on and so forth. You can configure it for multiple shortcuts and it works on the lock screen as well. Next feature is the scrolling screenshots. Now you can take a really long screenshot of a web page of directions of anything that is more than one screen and you can save it as one screenshot. Just take a screenshot, hit on the preview and start scrolling and you can take a screenshot. Later on you can refine and cut a portion of the screenshot that you need to save. It is very useful in taking directions, recipes and other content which is more than one screen. Next feature which I personally find very useful is Me Cloud Photosync. Me Cloud Photosync compresses your local images and uploads the full size images to the cloud. What it means is that if you have 1 gigs of images on your phone, it will compress it to around 100 MB. So you get 90% of your space back and you do not lose full resolution pictures as they are stored on the cloud. So whenever you want one or you want to print one, you can just take it out from the cloud and print it. Video editing has also been introduced with MIUI 8 in which you can 
take multiple videos and pictures, add filters, sound, visuals, etc., and make some compelling videos out of it. There are also some preset automated templates which are available for one touch creation of videos using your video clips. Next is the gallery view which has been refined to show you panoramas and screenshots. These are usually pictures which do not have usual aspect ratios. For example, panoramas are super wide, screenshots are super tall. So they are shown in different way where you can easily identify the visuals that you are looking for visually and you can easily locate the pictures that you are looking for. It's a very nifty feature. Next feature is also related to gallery. You can now just swipe up to any image in the gallery for sharing it. As soon as you do that, you get sharing options below the image. It's very easy to share your pictures this way. Another generic feature that you would notice across the MIUI 8 is new and richer animations. For example, when you connect to Wi-Fi, you would see a waveform flying. That is very interesting. You see new animations in calendar, weather app, toggles, you also see those in applications and other basic apps which use new animations in MIUI 8. Next small feature is that the notifications and toggles have now been clubbed. This is specially useful for large screen phones like Mi Max, but this feature can be turned off in settings. When this feature is on, you will see quick toggles floating on top. Above that, you may also find weather widget for large phones like Mi Max and below that you would find notifications. And last but not the least is the color inspiration. The MIUI 8 is inspired by a new color palette and it uses colors in a very innovative way. Basic set of applications which are the native applications like calendar, dialer, etc. use different color themes and they change color based on the context. For example, in calendar you will see blue color for winters, green for spring months and orange for summer. These are minute attention to details which makes MIUI 8 stand out from other ROMs that you would find for Android. The MIUI 8 is going in beta very soon and the public build will also be released in coming months. Do let us know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe for more such videos. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.